there are so many legal issues uh, in this campaign. Um, and I want to ask you about one involving the president's son, Hunter Biden, who's going to appear in court this week to plead guilty to two misdemeanor tax charges and will enter into an agreement that could avert conviction on a gun related charge. Um, the deal has infuriated many congressional Republicans who are holding their own hearings. And I wonder, after this plea happens, if you would advise your party to move on. No, I wouldn't, Margaret, and here's why. Welcome back, viewer. So over the past week and even over the weekend, some huge bombshells about the Biden family corruption have dropped. And of course, the Democrat Party state media is completely uninterested, which is rule number three. The only legitimate scandal is one that involves the Democrat Party's political opponents. It doesn't matter if you have a dozen whistleblowers, many of which who are Democrats, all confirming the same story that the Bidens are getting special treatment. They'll still dismiss it as a conspiracy theory and insist the critics move on. Well, over the weekend, CBS News fake reporter Margaret Brennan carried out her part of the Democrat Party playbook while interviewing 2024 candidate Chris Christie. And we'll get right into this insane interview right after this quick message from our sponsor, Noble Gold. The US dollar has lost 85% of its value since the 70s when the dollar decoupled from gold and the government seems bent on continuing the tradition. From now until the next elections, the government can print as much money as it wants. The last time they did that, inflation went up 9%. Gold is the one asset that has proven to withstand inflation. When you invest in gold with Noble Gold Investments, you will also get a 24 karat, one quarter ounce gold standard coin for free. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com right now. That's noblegoldinvestments.com, the only gold company I trust. And remember, there's always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. There are so many legal issues uh, in this campaign um, and and I want to ask you about one involving the president's son, Hunter Biden, who's going to appear in court this week to plead guilty to two misdemeanor tax charges and will enter into an agreement that could avert conviction on a gun related charge. Um, the deal has infuriated many congressional Republicans who are holding their own hearings. And I wonder after this plea happens, if you would advise your party to move on. <laughs> No, I wouldn't, Margaret, and here's why. Um, it's it, The conduct here by the U.S. Attorney in Delaware um, and by the Justice Department it, it just can't be justified. It doesn't take five years, Margaret. I, as you mentioned, I, I was the U.S. Attorney in the fifth largest office in the country for seven years during the Bush administration. It does not take five years to, to investigate two misdemeanor tax counts and to dismiss a gun charge. <laughs> um, and we need to know what they were investigating and why these are the charges they concluded to. This is not just any person. This is the son of the President of the United States. And while justice needs to be equal, it needs to be equal. And it doesn't appear to me that this is the way to do it. <laughs> and I would say one thing on the gun charge. I mean, this is a case where Democrats yell and scream for more new gun laws in the country, yet you hear no Democrat yelling about the fact that Hunter Biden intentionally lied on his gun permit application, mishandled the gun after he received it with a false permit application, mm -hmm. and faces absolutely no penalty. <laughs> Guess what? The guy who sponsored that wow. law was his father, Senator Joe Biden, and that's, that charge carries a 10-year sentence, Margaret. <laughs> um, we need to explain they need to explain to yeah. the public why that was done. So, no, I don't think it's time to move on. Stop! Stop! He's already dead. Uh, and you know that the U.S. attorney in Delaware was appointed by former President Trump. Um, I don't care! As if you needed any more proof that our free press is largely just a tool of the Democrat-controlled state. I'll just add that Trump has always been notoriously bad at picking allies that ended up being his opponents. So the fact that this judge is a Trump appointee means nothing. Especially since a big part of the government and media offensive against Trump and the people around him is to scare his supporters in government from expressing that support. Lastly, when do you ever hear anyone in the media taking issue with Biden or Democrat-appointed judges that 
that make decisions against Republicans. It just doesn't happen. Like the pro-Biden judge whose daughter worked for Biden being the judge overseeing Trump's New York indictments. It's just another one of those double standards that's right out in the open in our faces. On, on issues- Incompetent, Margaret. It doesn't matter whether, Margaret, it doesn't matter whether you're appointed by a Republican or a Democrat. If your work appears to be incompetent and inexplicable, you need to explain it so we can have confidence in our justice system. And I don't care whether Mr. Weiss is a Republican or a Democrat. He owes the American people an explanation. The media will continue to ignore this story as much as possible and demonize anyone who pushes the issue. That's why we can't back down. I'm not a Chris Christie fan by any means, but that response was pretty solid. This segment was sponsored by Jeep. Don't spend your money on companies that fund state media deception. All right, folks, that's all for that one. If you found it informative, please hit that like button, share it, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to continue the discussion. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.